Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday and welcome to uh, Candle Review Sunday. Today I am going to just be finishing up the last few um, candle reviews that I actually meant to get out for the holiday season. Unfortunately, I ended up getting really sick um, the week of Christmas and it really put a major damper on a lot of my plans, including my filming plans that I had. So um, these were videos that were actually meant to go up uh, like right after Christmas, but here we are putting them up after New Year's. I still think they're worth reviewing, so I will put the last couple of videos up. There were some candles that I purchased that um, I never got around to even lighting to be able to review. So I will save those for the next holiday season. Um, you know, I'm sure they'll hold up just fine. <laughs> so, and hopefully those particular fragrances are available next year. If not, I'll still review them for posterity's sake. Or, I mean, a lot of companies definitely do re-release certain products. So, yeah. Um, I decided to go ahead and keep up my Christmas decor just a few extra days uh, to have the background for <laughs> these last holiday videos, but I am getting ready to start packing all of this stuff up, which I'm not going to lie, is very overwhelming. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at all of it. Ooh. When do you guys take down your holiday decor? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, you guys, let's get into my thoughts on the Scentworks uh, Toasted Pumpkin S'mores. So um, I have not made it any secret over the last year or so that the Scentworks candles really are not the best fit for my home. They are better suited, I think, to smaller spaces or individual rooms. Um, I don't think they're bad candles by any stretch of the imagination, but they're obviously not the ones that I purchase the most of. For me, the Homeworks brand, which is all under Slacken & Co. now, is definitely a better fit for my house in terms of performance for strength and throw. So, um, however, Kohl's, um, was it a couple weeks ago? I can't remember. Um, was having a sale on Scentworks candles and they were like 10 bucks each. So I did decide to pick up a few more of the Scentworks, uh, a couple that I was really interested in for a while that I haven't picked up the sugar cookie and there's also like vanilla sugar or something like that. And then there was this guy right here, the toasted pumpkin s'mores. This one smelled insanely strong on cold sniff, and I actually really enjoyed the hand wash in this particular scent. Um, I still have a little bit of it in my upstairs uh, master bath. Love the hand wash, by the way. <laughs> it's It smells so good, you guys. Um, but this was so strong on cold sniff, I thought, you know what? I'm going to take a chance on this. It's 10 bucks. Uh, I'm not really losing out on much, and I'm glad that I did. If you can still get your hands on this and you like this type of scent, oh, it's so delicious. Um, so let's get into, and I'm really actually quite surprised with the performance as well. So um, this one is, get, is getting two thumbs up for me. So let's go through the scent notes here and then we'll talk about quality of burn. We'll talk about strength, throw, all that kind of stuff. So your notes here are pumpkin puree, fluffy marshmallow, white chocolate, and toasted graham cracker. So this to me smells very much just like a chocolate s'more. We love doing s'mores at our house. We have an outdoor fireplace that we utilize quite frequently. And I have a whole little setup for s'mores. I bought the cute little, you know, like marshmallow roasting things, like the nice metal ones. And I have a little tin that I put the um, graham crackers in and the marshmallows and then I have a selection of both dark chocolate which is my personal preference and milk chocolate what's your favorite type of chocolate for your s'mores let me know uh Stella and Craig are milk chocolate people and I am a dark chocolate person I don't like milk chocolate <laughs> not my fave but um you guys this smells just like a chocolate s'more um 
I don't really get much in the way of pumpkin from this at all. So if the pumpkin scared you off of the scent description, I, I even when I stick my nose in this on cold sniff or when it's burning, I have never even gotten a remote whiff of pumpkin puree. Totally not a thing to my nose at all. I'm not saying it's not in here. I'm just saying to my nose, I cannot pick it up. Um, but I do get that ooey gooey, like roasted marshmallow note. I do get um, the toasted graham cracker note. But the difference for me here is that I don't smell white chocolate. I, I don't, I don't like white chocolate at all. I would rather eat milk chocolate than white chocolate. Um, I really get more of just like a pure chocolate. So more probably like a milk chocolate than anything else. Um, it is so authentic. It is so delicious. And I really, really like this. I knew that I liked the hand wash. So I thought taking a chance on this candle was probably going to be like an okay thing. It is more than okay. This is so good. In fact, if this ends up going on sale again and they are clearancing out some of the holiday stuff, I would actually purchase more of this. I do think this is something that could be a little bit more um, universal year round. S'mores to me don't necessarily smell like Christmas per se. We do s'mores all year round. So this is totally one that I could see myself burning throughout the rest of the remainder of winter. Um, I could see myself burning this during the summertime, especially if we put it outside in our <clears throat> backyard under the covered patio. Um, this would just be so fun. And then obviously this kind of warm, gooey, gooey, like gourmand type scent is really good during the fall and holidays as well. So this is a great year round candle. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe this does continue to stick around as like a regular part of the lineup, but there's a lot of stuff already coming out from Scentworks for the spring and summer. Um, if you're not familiar, Scentworks is available at a couple different places right now, predominantly Kohl's, but the Homeworks website has also started selling the Scentworks products on there as well. So, um, I will link where you can get this down below, but keep your eye out for any clearance pricing just in case this does not um, continue to stick around uh, after the holidays here. Let's talk about burn performance. So I didn't light this up so that I could show you guys the wicks and um, all that jazz. So you can see I'm, I'm actually pretty close to finishing this bad boy up. I can probably finish it in the next couple days. Um, this has had a remarkably good burn. Um, there is no sooting at all that has happened. Um, sorry, out of frame there. And there's no sooting. The wicks really are kind of short. Um, I never trim these, by the way. Um, the wicks, despite being really short, and you would think you would get puny wick syndrome from this, it, it's really not giving that to me. It just continues to perform really well. The strength and the throw, by the way, if you hear any snorting or weird noises in the background, um, that's my friend Coco. Uh, I am currently dog sitting <laughs> for some of our friends who are out of town. And Coco is a noisy little girl. Um, but the strength of this one, I would put at like a solid like seven. The throw, I would put at more of like, I would say a five. It doesn't travel super far. But in the room where this candle is located, it is absolutely noticeable and it is quite strong, especially, like I said, based on my previous experiences with the Scentworks candles where they, they're nice, um, but they don't really do much uh, beyond just fragrancing the room that they're in. Again, this one here in the dining room, which is where this candle has been located, it doesn't escape much from this room, but this is also a room that is a little bit more closed off. The doorways into it are smaller, so I don't really get much travel. I did at one point put this in the family room and it scented a greater area for sure. It traveled from the family room to the kitchen nook, into the kitchen. It definitely kind of fragranced the back part of the house with just this candle. In this room, 
it, it varies a little bit. So keep that in mind. I would say if you are someone who lives in an apartment or a condo or a townhouse or an older home where your rooms are maybe a little bit more moderately sized, this is going to be a great candle for you to look into um, because it is quite strong in like specific areas. Now, if your home's similar to mine, um, I'm having some good luck with this one. I, I don't know if the other two will have the same performance. I'll definitely be reviewing those here in the month of January. Those two scents are, the other two that I got are not holiday specific. So I got those with the intention of being able to burn them in the new year here. So um, overall, I think this one is gonna get two thumbs up for me. I just really like this scent. I love the authenticity of it. I love the fact that this is giving me much more than what I'm typically used to with the Scentworks candles. So maybe, maybe this is a little bit of a change in the performance of these. I mean, I like I said, I haven't tried a ton of Scentworks in the past. They have sent me candles in the past, um, and those were fine, but again, like I always share my honest thoughts with you guys. I didn't think that they were super great in my open concept home, so which is why I haven't really purchased a lot from them. But with this one, maybe, I don't know, maybe they're stronger now. Let me know what your experience is with the Scentworks candles, and then uh, let people know like what style of home you have, whether it is an apartment, whether you have an open concept, um, leave that down below as well because you know my experience is just my experience in this house obviously I have not taken this candle to a friend's house my parents house or anybody else I don't know how it would do in a different space but this one here to me definitely has me going hmm maybe I will check out a few more things from Scentworks this year just to see you know if there's things that have changed kind of across the board or if this one is just kind of an exception to my normal experience with Scentworks. So anyway, you guys, I will link this bad boy down below. She's she's getting the Melanie seal of approval for sure. Um, so if you wanna check it out, check out the information in the description box or you can find these at your local Kohl's. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Tim